All right, guys, it's uh, Tuesday evening. It's time to think about our next kitchen table doctor repair project. Let's head out to uh, Hell's Garage and see what we got out here. Hello, Wolfie. As usual, you can see the boxes piled up from the outside window there. We don't have to do too much, uh, too much scrambling around to uh, find uh, find a good uh, project, right? Let's click a light on here. I mean, as you know, the drill guys, we got uh, we got a hundred to choose from in here, every shape, make, model. So we're just gonna grab one right off the top here, and it looks like it's the. Uh, this looks like, let's put it on the macro mode here. We got a Fisher FM 6660 that works. But on top of the pile, we got a Technics SA424. And you guys already know how I feel about uh, Technics and the awesome top of the line for Panasonic when it came to uh, stereos. Innovative, wonderful, great sounds. Uh, you know, cutting edge for high technology and stereos. What do you think, guys? I think this is going to be it. I'll meet you inside. Okay, guys, I was able to go back. I keep a little notebook. Sometimes when I uh, purchase items, if I have a chance, I open up the uh, notebook, and it gives me a little reference of what the problem was. And I see I paid about that $8 for you this unit, and it's a Technics SA424. And it does have the original operating instructions with it. It's got the original, see, it looks like it's even got the original purchase contract in here, which is kind of cool. And you know, I've noticed that when people buy something like a Technics or expensive unit, they invariably have good documentation, um, you know, because they're proud and they spent a lot of money on it. This unit was bought, let's put this on macro mode. This unit was bought from Pacific Stereo in Houston, Texas uh, on February 27th, 1982. So we're talking about, uh, what are we talking about? Almost 30, over 30 years ago this unit was bought. And I can tell you what, at a total of uh, $368.80 with tax, that was a hell of a lot of money. Uh, back in 1980 so you know we've got a uh, we got a real good uh, unit here we even got the guy's credit card slip for his uh, visa here how cool is that so supposed to be a, a hell of a unit it's uh, rated at uh, 48 uh, it looks like 45 watts per channel here which puts it even uh, more than the uh, 35 watts per channel that I had uh, with the uh, last unit, the, uh, I don't even know what the heck that was, I uh, moved on to the uh, guy that brought it to me from Iowa when he moved, but it's a little difficult to get stuff out uh, one-handed here. But, uh, I'll try to uh, lift her up and see if we can get her uh, chooching, sort of lose the box here, there we go. And uh, when, you, when you work on electronic stuff and try to do stuff on YouTube, you get used to doing stuff uh, one-handed. So we'll cut this off and take a look. But the deal on this was this thing had a bad relay. Every time the, u the uh, owner went to uh, power on the power, and it's a beautiful unit, it's in wonderful shape, I can tell you immediately all the... Uh, Buttons are there, which is unusual for a uh, Technics. A lot of these front push buttons tend to come off and get lost. Kids, grandkids come over, they pull on stuff, they take off uh, things, and they end up here and there. But this just looks like this is in stellar condition. The problem was, though, every time the owner pushed the uh, power button here, and I don't, right here, the uh, circuit would cut out, a relay would click in the back and it would cut it off, signifying there's some problem with the uh, power circuit, some sort of short circuit. We're going to have to get in there on this Technics SA424 and we're going to have to figure out what's going on. But that's a little bit of teaser on our next kitchen table doctor project and it should be a lot of fun guys. Thanks.